Hey YouTube, Sam here. We're gonna work on a medicine cabinet today. What it is, we're inside my RV in my trailer here, and this has some of the flimsiest. You can't hardly even see them. I mean, they're they're just a clear plastic, and they're really flimsy, and they're starting to crack. This one is still okay, but they just don't hold the kind of weight while moving around that trailers do so i'm gonna go ahead and i actually have some of this i don't know if you can see that white on white here but it's some fairly thick plexiglass um, and i think it'll just work better but still stay light um, you could use wood or anything for this but i decided it's an rv upgrade so this i'm gonna go ahead chunk of plexiglass actually my dad brought it home it was something that they were just throwing away at work um, but I, it's been sitting around my house for a long time now, and uh, it's just an old sign is what it is. So if you can find a piece like this for free, all the better. If not, uh, you know, I don't know what it's going to cost to to buy something like this because I've never bought anything like this. And I don't know if this is technically considered plexiglass. It's more just a, a plastic because it's not clear, um, but it's I would call it plexiglass. Um, because it's kind of it's more that type of material what I did so I put this on here and marked it and then when we had the trailer stuff would fall back behind here all the time like it would it would scoot forward a little bit and then fall behind here so I went and pulled it forward as much as I could in the trailer closed the door and let it sit right where it kind of touches the door and it was another half inch behind there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these oversized by about a half inch. I'm gonna cut this one out. I'm just gonna use my jigsaw here. Uh, I tried using the jigsaw and I thought, no matter how slow I went, it was melting to the blade and just kind of, it's just welding itself back together. I got this one over here kind of done uh, but I went with a bigger gullet in the teeth here, and that still welded itself down in there. I can't even get that out of there now. Um, and so this is definitely not the way to go. So I'm going to have to figure out a different way to cut this. So I went on YouTube, and I looked around, and I did see that there was a jigsaw uh, blade that you could get for your jigsaw. But then another guy had one of these. Now he had a little bit different uh, cutter on there, which might do a better job, but I don't have that particular one. So I just use this one here and it works pretty good. It does cake up the blade a little bit uh, with plastic and it's not the smoothest of cuts. Although a lot of this was jigsaw related non-smoothness so i'm going to go ahead and test this out in the trailer i gotta go ahead and take some sandpaper to it smooth it up try and fix what i can of the jagged edges um, test it out see if it works if it works then i will cut another one and... the cut. it's kind of hard to see with white on white and even putting it in the darker background here but it's fairly flaky definitely has to be cleaned up but this is definitely cleaner than the one i did with the jigsaw that, that jigsaw really messed it up but this stuff clips off of here pretty good take some sandpaper sand that down oh, be good to go in. and they're working they're fairly sturdy um we'll see how they hold up yet again like most of my videos or I'll tell you that if I have any problems, you'll know about it. It is all filled up. It's holding everything that we have in here for now. Um, it's not bending under the weight here, so that's good. So we'll see how it holds up driving down the road. All right, this is Sam, Jack of all, master of none. You all have a good one.